This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today I'm going to show you how to get the Magic Scorpion Charm in Elden Ring. This charm boosts all magic damage. However, it lowers your damage negation. And this is one of the few items in the game that if you do not follow this guide, you can actually lock yourself out of getting this item completely. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you need to have done before you can do this quest is you need to have beaten Margit here at the Stormvale Castle. Once you've beaten him, then you can progress. Now, you may run into this lady here at the castle. You may not. If I don't know where she is, I didn't find her when I went to the castle. After you beat him, she will just show up here in the hold. So what you're going to do is you are just going to talk to her and make sure you exhaust all of her dialogue. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to talk to this guy and you're going to make sure you exhaust all of his dialogue. You can see here he's got a bunch of different ones. I'm just going to go through all of them here real quick and make sure that we go through them all. So once you've exhausted both of their dialogue, we need to run up here and get the Amber Starlight. Now you can find that right up here. We're going to go to this grace point up here. Once we get to this grace point, we're going to be heading right over here to this spot that I I have marked so we're just going to pop on our horse you can see there it's to the northeast and we're just gonna run up here and there's like a little cave entrance up here where we can just kind of slip in underneath of it and there's a there's an open area if we go up to the top but we're not we're gonna go down around here and if we come around through here you can see there is a little cave entrance it's not a true cave but it's cave-esque. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run straight back to the back of here. There's gonna be some land octopuses in here or octopi, whatever, just ignore them. And we want, it's right here, grab the amber starlight. Once you grab that, then we can run back out. Now we're gonna jump back to the map and we are going to head over here to the uh, Royal Moongaze grounds. And you will need to have beaten the boss that is in this area here so that you can get this gate open. Once you've beaten that boss, the gate will be open for you. And we are going to head all the way back here and there is a tower back here. There will be a dragon that plops down in front of you here or will already be here. Just ignore the dragon. Just run, run right past the dragon. Once you get inside, it's fine and the dragon won't mess with you. But uh, yeah, just dodge it. Make sure you do whatever you can to put stuff between you and it just in case it decides to use any type of flame attack against you and just run past it. Once you run past it, then we are going to head through this tower up to the top and there is a grace point here. We're gonna grab that grace point and then we are going to continue our way to the top of this thing. Until we get to this, stand on this and activate it. And what we are going to do is just run all the way up to the top of here. And we are going to speak to this lady. When it comes up for the option here, you want to select this one. You want to serve her. And then you want to go through and just exhaust any dialogue that she has. Okay, now that we've exhausted all of her dialogue, we can run back down to the bottom. And there's going to be a bunch of ghost images of her servants down here. Now, just go through here and talk to this guy. Exhaust all of his dialogue. We're going to continue to talk to him. Make sure that we exhaust it all. Okay, it's good. Now we're going to run downstairs and there will be other guys down here. We're going to do the same thing for this guy. Talk to him. Exhaust all dialogue. Once you've done that, then we're going to go over here to Vesuvius and we're going to do the same thing for him. Once you have exhausted all of their dialogue, we're going to go back up and talk to the witch again. We're going to do the same thing that we did before. Once again, keep talking. Make sure you've exhausted all dialogue options and she's just repeating the same thing over and over again. At that point, you will finally be allowed to leave the area. If you don't do this, uh, you kind of get, there's like an invisible wall and it traps you in the area. So once we've done that, then uh, we can now leave the area. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head straight to Vesuvius. So we're just going to run over this way and bypass this dragon because we don't wanna have anything to do with him. If we fall right through here, we should not take any fall damage. There we go. And his tower 
is right here. So we're just gonna run over here to his tower. And we're just going to talk to him and exhaust all of his dialogue. He's gonna give us a task to poison the lady that we talked to first, the warrior lady. We're gonna accept that task and we're gonna continue to talk to him, make sure that he's repeating the same thing over and over again. Once you have done that, fast travel back up here to uh, Rani's Rise or Rani's Rise, however you pronounce her name. Uh, fast travel back up here and we are going to jump on our horse and we are going to head back down and out because we need to, he's got a secret layer over here in this, uh, this, these ruins area over here. So we're just going to go over here. We need to get inside this area. Just to, once again, ignore the dragon, it's fine. And it should be right here. We just need to strike it and there we go. And now what we're gonna do is just go back in here and explore this area. And we need to find his, uh, his hidden area. So we strike this and that opens this up and uh, we got a, a corpse in there and there is, I think it's this one right here. Yep, we activate that and uh, he shows up. We need him to show up and say that. Okay, there we go. Now that's done. Now we need to go back up top and talk to him again. And we'll have slightly different dialogue than we had before and that's what we want. So now that we've done all of that, now what we need to do is head back to the round table hole. Now that we're back at round table hole, we just need to go over here and quickly verify that she is no longer here. Yep, the warrior lady is no longer here. That means she is over here, which will trigger our second round, the village of the Albanaria, whatever they are. We're gonna head over there. So from this waypoint, we just need to ride over here and she is underneath of this bridge over here. So we can just bypass all of the nonsense that's in this village. And she is right over here underneath this bridge. So what we're gonna do now is just go through and exhaust all of the dialogue that we have with her. And now we head back to the round table hold and she will be over here underneath of the stairs. We need to go over here and now talk to her over here. I know this is the most convoluted nonsense of a quest line I've ever seen in my life. So now we go over here and we talk to her and she's gonna tell you to leave her alone. So we're gonna leave her alone and we are going to go now go back over to the other side and talk to her adopted daddy uh, in the library over here. By the way, if you don't have the library open over here, he should be standing over here somewhere. I think he stands right here. Talk to him over here before you start any of this. I don't know what at what point what you have to do that makes him open this. But anyway, so now we're gonna go back over here and talk to him. And now you can see we have the new option here for Nefeli's or whatever her name is, Despair. And after you get through the first part of his dialogue, you then get the option to show him Saluvius's potion. So we're gonna do that. And he basically doesn't care because he's like the worst person in the world. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand the potion over to him. Now, at this point, I don't, you should be able to give it to her and still do this, but um, I know for a fact that giving the potion to him and following what I'm showing you here does lead to you getting the charm. So we're going to give the potion to him. And now that we've done that, we need to run back over here and just talk to her once more. She should say the same stuff, but I had to do this before I could progress further with Sylvus's or Sylvus's, whatever his name is, quest. So we're gonna go over here. She's gonna tell you to leave her be. And then you get the option to say, I, I heard from Gideon. So we're gonna say that. And then we just go through until she's she repeats the line, no, 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 no. Once you see that over and over and over again, then you've exhausted all of your dialogue with her. Now we're gonna jump back to the map and we are gonna head back up here to Rani's Rise or Ronnie's Rise, whatever her freaking name is, the Witch's Tower. We are going to jump back on our horse and we are gonna run back over here and talk to Saluvius some more. So now we have some options here. So first off, we're gonna say this one here and then we're gonna talk to him about his chambers. And now he's gonna give you the option to choose one of these ashes. He calls them puppets, but they're, they're ashes. You can summon them. Now click study sorcery and I had bought all of these spells. I don't think it makes a difference, but I'm just telling you that just in case it doesn't work for you, buy all the spells if for some reason it doesn't work. So now what we need to do is since we, we bought that puppet, he's not gonna have any other options for us right now. So we go back and we talk to him. The only thing we have is this. 
So now what we need to do is we need to go back up here. Any, you can go to any waypoint, but we're gonna go to this waypoint since it's closest. And then we're gonna rest at this site of grace and we are going to pass time. I don't know what time it is, but we're gonna pass time until morning twice. We need some time to go past uh, before it was a full 24 hours for me. I was already at morning. So I'm just passing time twice now. That way we're sure we've passed a full 24 hours or more. So now that we passed a bunch of time, we head back over here and he should have the option to buy a puppet. Here we go, we have the option. If for some reason he doesn't have this, if for some reason you followed every step that I've shown you here and you've passed time and this isn't showing up, pass more time. Go right back to that grace point, pass another couple of days and then come back here. To get this one to show up just now, I had to pass three days. Previously, I only had to pass one 24 hour time period and this showed up. So now what we're gonna do is click on, I want a new puppet. And he's gonna have some dialogue for you. He's like, oh, I'm creepy, I'm curious. Oh yeah, you want some, some new puppets. So now you have the option to obtain a puppet. We're gonna click on obtain a puppet. Now you have to buy the extra puppet, the one, whichever one you didn't choose, that is the one you need to buy. So I highly recommend, since you can see here, this one costs three and this one costs two, I would recommend choosing this one when it comes time to choose. Then you can buy this one for only two. You are going to need starlight shards in order to purchase the whichever one you didn't choose. Once again, I would probably choose this one since this one's cheaper. I'm not gonna cover where to get starlight shards in this video because it's already way too long as it is. I'll put a link down in the description. You can go over to the wiki and it shows where you can find those on the interactive map relatively easily. So we're gonna purchase the second puppet here. And now that we've done that, we are going to back out and he's gonna have new dialogue. And now you can see we have the option for about the scheme. So now we are going to click that and he's gonna be totally creepy and get all up in our face and clip through our heads and you just wanna go through all that dialogue there, say, I'm interested. And he's gonna tell you that he wants that amber shard that we've already picked up. So now we are going to give him the amber starlight shard. And then you're gonna think, oh, I didn't get anything for it, but we're gonna talk to him again. And now that we talk to him again, he gives us the amulet that we wanted. And there you go. Now we have the scorpion charm. So that's how you get it. So now at this point, we don't wanna proceed with him any further. If you proceed with him any further, you are going to go to a quest line that is uh, leads to killing the witch. So, I mean, if you wanna kill the witch and get whatever ending that ends up with, um, then, then yeah, go for it. But just so you know, if you go through his quest line any more past this, you will end up uh, not getting the ending where you side with, with the witch up there in the tower. If you want to side with her, once you get the Finger Slayer blade, you go give it to her her and then when you come back over here he'll be dead but we don't really have any use for him at this point anyway at this point we've done everything there is possible to do with him if we've if you've already bought all of the spells you can go back to him at this point and still buy the spells um, but yeah buy the spells uh, we've gotten both puppets and now we are good to go uh, you can get special puppets through him but that's a totally different quest line and I don't know if that leads to you getting the charm or not and honestly they're not the best puppets it's anyway, there's other options out there. So anyway, that's it for this one. So now, now you have the charm and you can go over there and uh, equip it and it will boost your magic damage. So hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. I wanna give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time. Thanks for watching.